this is Danny Explosion. Today I want to show off part one of my album collection. It's not really too much because I got back into collecting a while ago, but hopefully you'll enjoy it and some of the stuff I have. And uh, let's uh, get underway then. First one, Aborted Global Flatline, very good death grind. If you listen to Death Grind, you probably know who these guys are. I just saw them recently with uh, Fifth for an Autopsy, and they killed it. Very, very good stuff. I mean, I, lo I love the inner uh, artwork in here. It's very, very, very cool. And then there's that one. Then there's the disc. Very, very, very good stuff. The next one is... Uh, the next one is Anthrax Spreading the Disease. Really, really good stuff. Some good old-fashioned thrash for you. Uh, here's the uh, inside of it, where you got like the disc and the booklet. Probably my favorite track off this one. Hold on. My favorite track off this one, my personal favorite is Medusa. I don't know, I really like Joey Belladonna's vocals on that one. Next Anthrax album I own is uh, Among the Living. This is my personal favorite uh, Anthrax album, along with Worship Music, which sadly I don't own yet. But still, very, very awesome thrash metal music. I need to get more thrash in my collection. My favorite track on this one is probably Indians, or Imitation of Life. It's a tie between the two. Here's the uh, inside with the booklet and the disc. Very, very good album, nonetheless. The next one's just regular old metal, regular good old metal. This is uh, Anvil with Metal on Metal. Good old classic Canadian metal. Very, very well done. My personal favorite track on here is probably uh, 666 or uh, Mothra. Some good stuff. Here's the uh, inside, it's got the Digipack. And there's the disc right there. Very well done album. Next one is uh, some hardcore punk for you. This is uh, Black Flag Damaged. I got this as a Christmas present. This was one of my favorite hardcore punk albums of all time. I mean, Black Flag is one of my favorite bands. And every single track on this album is flawless. But I just say my personal favorite is probably Six Pack. Or Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. The other one. Here's the uh, inside of it with the uh, book on the disc off of uh, SST Records. The next Black Flag I own is uh, My War. This is my favorite Black Flag album because every single song on here is very, very well done. And it, 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 it has made a large influence to every, to almost every, like, doomish style subgenre of metal. metal. Probably my favorite tracks on this is either. Uh, My War, the title track, Can't Decide, or Beat My Head Against the Wall. Some very good old stuff. And everybody knows these guys. Black Sabbath, Paranoid. It's Black Sabbath, man. I don't know what else to say, but, you know. Probably my favorite track off this is either Electric Funeral or Planet Caravan. I love Planet Caravan. That's one of my favorite Black Sabbath songs. Here's the inside to it with the uh, disc and the no the disc booklet. I'm sorry. Next one from Black Sabbath is Black Sabbath Volume Four. This is my personal favorite Black Sabbath album, and I loved every single song that's on this album. Except for FX, that was just a bunch of weird noises. But probably my favorite track off this one is probably uh, Snowblind. Very, very good. And I remember Sleep doing a cover of that song, and that was a great cover. Oh, I'll show you the inside. There's the uh, disc and then the booklet, which is just black. I'm sorry. The next one, I really need to own more from these guys, because these guys are fucking awesome i've seen them live many many times and they've always they've always stuck out and always did a great job live these this is cannibal corpse with uh, a skeletal domain i got the got the shirt from the new skeletal domain album very very good stuff 
from their lap. To me, honestly, I mean, I, I like torture, but I, I've liked this one a lot, a lot better, though, because I found it more, more pummeling, in my opinion. But every single Cannibal Corpse album is pummeling. I like every, I like every Cannibal Corpse album. Favorite track on here is probably Bloodstained Cement. I really like that track. And yeah, that's Cannibal Corpse for old. Here's the uh, inside. It's a digipack, which I'm not really a huge fan of digipacks. The next album I have is another band I need to get more stuff from. This is uh, Cal Decapitation with uh, The Harvest Floor. Really, really good old death grind. Very, very good stuff. I'd say my favorite track off this one is... Uh, Either Tooth Enamel and Concrete or Regret in the Grave. And I heard, I never, I really need to get Monolith of Hidden Humanity because I heard, because from what I've heard, that's a really, really good album. I need to get it. Here's the inside of it with the booklet and the uh, disc. Very well done stuff. Next one is uh, Children of Bodom with uh, Hate Breeder. This is like the only album I actually like from Children of Bodom. Besides Blood Drunk, I should like that one, but I really I really like this album, but the rest, I don't know why. They just not, never really done it for me. Here's a booklet and the uh, disc. I like the disc to it, though. I see my favorite track on here is either Warheart or Downfall, or, or the Ace is High cover they did on it. Cause I like that cover. Next one is Damage Plan, Newfound Power. I got this used for five bucks and I was really surprised because at my FYE, they sell this album new for like 30 bucks and it's ridiculous. But I'm a huge Dimebag fan and I and when I saw this for like five bucks used on Amazon, I had to get this. It's, I mean, it's a very flawless album. Here's the inside of it with the, with the booklet and the disc. I'd say my unfair track on here is probably uh, either Crawl, Save Me, or Pride. Either one's really good. The next are Death Metal Legends. Death with Leprosy. This is sadly the only album I have from these guys. I need to get more. I mean, I don't have my personal favorite one, which is Spiritual Healing, but this, this one's probably my second favorite Death album. Uh, here's the inside. It has a second disc because this is a relapse ish reissue. It has like rehearsals and stuff like that. So I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, probably my favorite track on here is probably Born Dead. I love that track. Where am I at? All right. I'm going to show you a few more than uh, <clears throat> I'll probably the end of part one. This is next one is man. I love. Fucking love these guys. I've been a, I've been on a kick for these guys for the past year and a half. This is Dying Fetus Killing on Adrenaline. Very, very good death metal, technical death metal. And I love this album. Probably my favorite track on here is uh Fornication Terrorists or Killing or the Tile Track. I don't know. Here's the uh, inside to it, not really nothing much. Just a little side note and the uh disc right here. Next album from that band is probably one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. This is Dying Fetus Reign Supreme. I was fucking blown away when I heard this album. I mean, every when I hear this, like, I don't know what to say about this album, man. It's fucking awesome. Really awesome, awesome stuff. Like, I when I first heard this album, I was obsessed with it. And I still kind of am. And I'd say probably my favorite track on this. It's kind of hard. My favorite tracks on here would probably be Devout Atrocity, In the Trenches, or From Womb to Waste. Very, very good stuff. This will be the last album I show for this one. I'll make a part two as soon as I can. This is Exhumes Necrocracy. Very, very well done death metal. I really enjoyed this album when I first bought it. I mean, I was a pretty big fan of um, their debut album, Gore Metal, but when I went to my local FYE, they didn't have it there. 
And I also saw, but then I saw this there, and it was their new album at the time. I was like, eh, you know what, I'll get it. And I was blown away with this album. This is a very, very, very good album. Probably my favorite tracks on here are probably their title track, Necrocracy, Sickened, The Shape of Death to Come, or The Carrying Call, or The Rotting. I don't know. Very good stuff. Here's the uh, booklet and the disc. I, I really like the disc design on here. Very, very well done. All right, well, that's it for like the first part of my CD collection. I'll make a part two as soon as I can. And I just want to tell you, this channel will be also be dedicated to track reviews, album reviews, CD updates, merch updates, which I'm expecting a package in a couple weeks <clears throat> soon. So I'll do a merch update too. Track reviews, sh concert reviews. And maybe some guitar covers, because I don't know if you can tell, I also play guitar. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the first part of the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> and as always, man, keep it metal.